Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope uh, you all are doing fantastic. Topic that we'll have a look at today is uh, binomial option pricing model. So very nice question. I mean, the solution for this question that is given in the book is, uh, I mean, it's slightly not clear. So I will help you out with a very simple method to solve this question. So stay connected till then. And it's very important topic from the exam point of view. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, peers who are appearing for the exam or who are planning to appear in the next year so that they also get benefited out of it. And believe me, it takes a lot of efforts to come up with uh, videos like this. So let's have a look. So there is an option trader uh, in the investment bank. Gave, uh, the name is Kevin. And uh, he is reviewing a recent analysis of some uh, company, and the current stock price of that company is trading at dollar forty-seven. And according to the bank's analyst, the price of the stock uh, will either go up or down by eight dollars. So currently, it's for it at forty-seven dollars. So either it will go to 55, that is it will move at uh, $1.8 upside or it, it will come down by $1.8, that is $39 in a one year time horizon. Depending on the how uh, the revenues of the companies are, since uh, Kevin is quite pessimistic, uh, I mean, he, he thinks that company's revenue will not be that decent, that's why he is thinking to short position uh, by buying a put option. So he is not directly planning to short that stock, but he is planning to buy a put option given that he is bearish on that stock at a strike price of $1.45. And the risk-free rate that we are given is 2.1%. Uh, so what is no arbitrage price for the option that Kevin is looking to buy? That means that what is a reasonable price given these details which Kevin should pay to buy this uh, put option at a strike price of 45 for one year price. So let's see. See, these are the few formulas uh, that you can just use. Um, I mean, this is a complete uh, process to derive the option price using the uh, binomial option pricing model. But for this particular numerical, we'll just use this formula. So the probability of up move. And why we will use this formula? Because the, the basic of the binomial option pricing model is that current option value that we are interested. So we are looking, uh, we, are, we are interested in buying a option price, which Kevin should pay to buy that option. So uh, that's, that's what we are interested in. And binomial option pricing, the fundamental is that it is a, it is the op current option value is a present value of probability weighted future payoffs. So we have future payoffs and we will need that. Uh, I mean, we have to assign the probability weights to those payoffs. So uh, so that's why we need a probability of up move and probability of down move. So let's see the same uh, node. What I'll do, uh, I'll just plot the information. So current spot price is dollar 47 and strike price is dollar 45 and uh, like up and down moves we are driven so let me just write it here dollar 47 and when it goes by up by eight units so it will go to dollar 55 so this is a uh as per analyst that it will move to dollar 55 or dollar 39 so now we have been asked to calculate the value of put option today. So this is at t is equal to one. And here we are at t equal to zero. And we have been given risk-free rate as 2.1%. And this is a com continuously compounded. Like we make a note of it that in a binomial option price, it's a continuous compounded annual risk free rate. So now what we'll do, we'll just calculate the probabilities of this so, so that uh, we can calculate the put option value here. 
then we'll discount back from T1 to T0. So we need, uh, so say, let me call the put option value at year one as P1 at this node. So P1 U and P1 D at a lower node or a down node. So what, how will we do? We'll calculate the probability of this. So what is the probability of, of move here? And so basically, see, it's very basic that uh, if you have bought a put option with a strike of $1.45 and uh, like your spot price goes to 55, your put option will be worthless. So this would be zero. So irrespective of this, what is the probability? I mean, if you multiply zero with any probability, that will give you zero. So because at this node, when your price goes up, you don't excise the put option because if you can... Uh, if you can sell it at 55 in the market, then why will you excise your option to sell the put option uh, at a roll of 45? But yeah, this is a case where you will uh, you will be keen to excise your put option, wherein you can sell at a dollar 45, wherein in the market it's uh, prevailing selling price is roll of 39. So in this case, you will uh, sell uh, excise a put option. So we'll find the probability of low down modes. So let's see how the formula. So probability of D, uh, probability of up move is, uh, so let me just again write a formula. So probability of, we'll find the probability of up move, then one minus probability of up move will go, give us the probability of down move. So it's e to the power RT minus uh, D, and uh, u minus d. Now, very important that uh, this u and d, what are these u and d? This u and d, if you remember, by how much amount your option price is increasing. So, uh, if it is going from 47 to 55, so it has increased by, say, for example, uh, by this amount. So, just the this u is this, and uh, d is. So your down node is 39. So we are 39 divided by 47. Let me quickly uh, work this out. Just give me a moment. So 55 divided by 47, it comes around 1.17. And uh, 39 divided by 47, it's, around, it's coming around 0.83%. So 0.83 basically, not really a percent. So your, this is coming around 1.17 and this is coming, I'm just uh, rounding off till the second decimal. Now we'll just plug in this value and get the probability of u. So e to the power, uh, your 2.1% uh, that is 0 0.021 times your one, t is one and minus d is 0.83. And in the denominator, it's 1.17 minus 0.83. We'll just find this out. Just give me a moment. Let me get the Kelsey or it will come around. Let me do it in Excel. Exponential of 0 0.021. It's coming on 1.021. Let me just write clear. Fine. 0 0.0122 minus 0 0.83 divided by 1.17 minus 0 0.83. Now 1.02122 minus 0.83. So in the numerator, it's 
and in denominator it is 0 0.34. Divide by 0.34 is around 56 percent. So I'm just rounding off till the second decimal. So your pi u is around 56.24 uh, percent. So your pi d would be, I mean, it's a probability of up move. So this is 56.24 uh, percent. Let me just find. 100 minus 56.24, it's around 43.76%. So now we have got the probability of the nodes. Oh, it's very really straightforward. Now, if you expect this, your price to be uh, $39 and your strike price is 45 and you have put option. So at this node, the probability of this is six. And the uh, sorry, pr price of the put option at year one is six, and the probability of getting that is around 43.76 percent. So, uh, if I were to calculate the probability weighted uh, option price, it would be six times this 43.63 percent. So, it will come around 2.6256. So it is coming around 2.6256. If I discount back to the year one, so the price of put option at year zero is e to the power minus it's the our risk free rate is 2.1 percent. So e to the power and e to the power RT, the year is one times your 2.6. 2.56%. Just uh, my Kelsey is giving me issue. So let me calculate the exponential of this in Excel. So it's around 0 0.9792. 0 0.9792 times your 2.6256. So your price of put option at year zero would be 2.57, zero. I mean, there are 2.571, so approximately 0.571. So this is a price of the option that Kevin should pay. So your option B is correct one. Hope you like the video if yes please do share with your friends because uh, if you see the solution of this particular question in the books it's very confusing it's a very simple way to calculate the price of the put option at a year zero thank you stay connected